Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. We have 28 items to ship out today. As usual, I am a little bit short on time. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Our first, actually our first two sales were from my men's closet. I do have a separate men's closet. These are a pair of men's Lululemon shorts olive green color. I love selling men's Lululemon stuff because it sells so well. Better than the women's stuff, honestly. I had these listed at 38 and within a couple weeks I received a $30 offer, which I did accept. That made my earnings 24 and my profit 23. Someone actually sent me an offer on these. I think it was like $25. And Poshmark has a feature where it will alert all of the other likers on the listing and say, hey, someone made an offer on this listing. If you want to make your own offer, act quick. And so that prompted someone else to come in and offer 30, which obviously I went with the higher offer. So, yeah, my, did I say my profit came out to $23 on the shorts. I did find them at the bins. Second and last men's piece is this H&M zip front jacket. I've had this for over a year now. I mainly picked it up because it's a Glen plaid print. And it is a linen blend. Yeah, 55% linen, 45% cotton. So it's all natural. Shackets are so popular. I think I might have thought this was a women's when I bought it. Because it is a size small in men's. And I don't typically buy size small in men's. Unless it's like a really good brand like Arcteryx or something that... Uh, I buy pretty much everything I find in, but H&M, that's not the case. I'm, it has to have a lot of factors going for it. So yeah, I think I thought this was a women's piece and I ended up listing it in my men's closet because it is a men's piece. Uh, so yeah, I did list it over a year ago for $22 and um, I recently got a $12 offer, which I just went ahead and accepted. I have had no action on this, and I just wanted to get it out the door. So my earnings were $9. I probably paid about a dollar, maybe $2 for it. And so my profit came out to 7 to $8, which, you know, everything adds up. I... Even when I make little mistakes like that, I always end up listing the stuff because, you know, you want to, you don't want to just throw away your investment. And a lot of the time you can make a small profit back. Okay. Actually, speaking of this shirt, I have had for probably about a year and a half now. The brand is, sorry, my group chat is going crazy right now. Uh, Zoe Carson which is a pretty expensive brand. I don't think that people are really searching for it though. Like the retail value does not seem super high on this. It has a little bat on the front. It's a very soft t-shirt. It feels like, yeah, modal and cotton. So incredibly soft. It's in excellent condition. I've had this listed, like I said, a year and a half, maybe two years. This is like, probably the oldest item in my closet. So, and I have had zero offers on it over the years. I probably would not pick this brand up again, Zoe Carson, unless I checked comps on that specific piece and it was selling really well, or it was just an incredibly substantial piece that I would pick up with no brand kind of thing. Like I would not depend on this brand to carry the item moving forward. So I had this shirt listed at 25 and someone offered me 10, which I could not have pressed accept fast enough. I was so ready to just move this out. My earnings were seven and my profit was around $5 on this. 
So yeah, I am so glad it's finding a new home. It's going to get some wear. And $5 is $5. So that is why I have this huge rack back here for stuff to hang out on if it's going to take a while to sell. Obviously, I do prefer faster moving sales, but worst case scenario, I do have my rack back here. Okay, now we have a pair of shoes. These are by the brand Madewell. They are sneakers, like a retro style sneaker. I found these at the bins. I'm going to put them in my box number seven. I added in a piece of paper just to kind of fill up that negative space so they don't move around too much. I had these listed at $35 and someone offered me $29, which I accepted. These really don't have much wear at all, but they do have some surface dirt to them. Like it looks like they were worn like maybe once in kind of like a rainy type day not really muddy but just you know they got they have a little bit of dirt on them so i did accept the 29 dollar offer that made my earnings 23 dollars and 20 cents i paid about two maybe three dollars for them at the bins because they do have some weight to them so my profit was around 20 to 21 dollars on those shoes also i got a haircut and this is kind of funny because my ship with me videos are current so you guys are seeing my haircut but whenever i upload a haul i'm going to switch back to having long hair because i have pre-recorded so many haul videos so i hope that doesn't kind of trip anyone up okay we're going to use another box number seven for this three-piece bundle first off is this belted zara shacket this thing is so nice i thought about keeping this but houston really just doesn't get that cold and yeah i probably should have kept this it's a great closet staple but i am happy to find it in your home i probably wouldn't wear it that much but it is so flattering so cute second Oh yeah, this, I listed these as a bundle. They are both J. Crew Collection New Tags pink cashmere sweaters. This one is a crew neck and in a size extra, extra, extra small. And then this one is a V neck in a size extra, extra small. Also New Tags. If these had been a larger size, I would have listed them separately. Uh, but because they were both, they were same brand, both new attack, same condition, same color, similar size. I did go ahead and list them together. Lastly for this bundle is this, uh, pointel knit floral embroidered button front yellow cardigan. This had no tags to it. It does look like kind of a boutique little cardigan but I did pick it up because I thought I could add in a lot of keywords. Granny core, cottage core, prairie, boho, embroidered, that kind of thing. So yeah, I just neatly fold everything in and then I add a piece of paper on top along with a thank you sticker so that it's easy for me but presentable for the buyer when they open it. So when the three of these were added to a bundle, it is four items, but like I said, the two pink cashmere sweaters were listed as one listing. So when the three listings were added together, the bundle price came out to $122 and I was offered 104, which I did accept. That made my earnings $83 and 20 cents. I paid about five for everything. And so my profit came out to right around $78 on this bundle. All really nice pieces. I hope the buyer loves. Okay, moving on, actually another three piece bundle. First off, we have this pair of good American jeans. They have distressing to them, very trendy cut wash details to these. They're in a size eight slash 29. Second is more Zara, more newer tag Zara. This is so cute. It's a little cropped ribbed knit top with sheer 
polka dot sleeves. This is seriously adorable. So fun for just a little night out. Tuck it into some high rise pants. You could wear it with these jeans, honestly. I think I'm going to wrap these two and then the last piece. I hadn't sold Good American in a long time before I found these jeans, so I was kind of curious how they would do. And they did sell really quickly. I would say I've had them for only a couple weeks now. The Zara top I have had for probably a month, maybe two months. So it did take a bit longer. And then this last piece in the bundle is Moth by Anthropology. It's a knit sweater vest. It is an alpaca and wool blend, which was mainly why I got it. I actually picked this up on 50 Cent Day at my Family Thrift Center outlet. So I was excited to find it because it's pretty substantial. It's a great transitional weather piece uh, being a vest. But the quality is there with the good fabric blend. And it's a neutral color. You can wear it with a lot of different uh, tops and colors kind of thing. So yeah, I did find this on 50 Cent Day. However, it did sit in my Poshmark closet for probably about six months now. Maybe a little bit longer. Six to eight months. But I did list it, I don't know six to eight months ago would have been a good time for this to sell. So like weather wise, season wise. So yeah, I'm not too sure why this sat. I think I did actually recently relist this. So anyways, when the three of these were added together, the bundle price came out to 97 and I sent the buyer a $75 offer with discounted shipping. That is obviously an additional discount, but that's mainly because I wanted to move out this vest as well as the Zara top. I do like to move out slower or get slower moving items out the door. And also this is someone who buys from me uh, frequently. It's a repeat buyer, and I do always take that into consideration when I'm sending out offers. I do like to give my repeat buyers a good deal. She did accept that. My earnings came out to $57. I paid around three for everything, and so my profit was still 54, which I'm happy with. All right, a great sale here. This was also very fast, sold within a week of being listed. It's Wilfred by which is sold through Aritzia. This is a line that Aritzia has, and it's a very popular line. I knew that this would sell really quickly, especially because it still has the extra fabric uh, safety pinned inside. So that does lead me to believe that it is new without tags. It also just looks new without tags. It has no pilling, no signs of wear. And I want to say this was also a wool alpaca blend, which does show wear pretty easily. This was a gorgeous color. It's called the Sicily cardigan. And I think this color was a little bit harder to find. This is probably a lot of people's like favorite go-to style of cardigan, the Sicily cardigan. And I'm sure maybe the buyer has this in other colors and they wanted to go ahead and get this color. That's why it is important to look up the exact style name of stuff and put that into your listing because someone may have purchased this by searching out Sicily Cardigan. So I had this listed at 70. It retailed for around 100, I think right at 100. And I was offered 50, which I accepted. My earnings were 40. I paid $2.25 for this at my Family Thrift Center outlet. And so my profit was $37.75 for this piece, which is an excellent return on my investment. Okay, moving on, we have a long line cable knit sweater by Free People V-neck. This is called the Easy Cable V-neck sweater. I'm sure you can see why 
very easy to throw on kind of a boyfriend fit with the longer length and relaxed bodice i guess you'd say i love this dusty coral coral i don't know where that came from dusty pink color uh i had this listed at 35 this was also a very fast sale within a week and a half of being listed someone offered me 25 and i did counter to 28 28 is my ideal sale price these days that was accepted. So my earnings were $22.40. I paid a couple dollars for this at the bins. And so my profit came out to $20 on this sweater. I would say that's right at what I expect to make these days on just kind of like a basic free people sweater is a profit of $20. And I am so happy that I do have the Goodwill outlet because you know if I had paid $6 for this at a regular Goodwill, that would really eat into the profit. Free People is just so saturated now that unless it's an amazing piece, I pretty much exclusively pick it up at the bins. I love this top. I think this is gorgeous. It's by Soft Surroundings. It has this really pretty floral print that allowed me to add in the keywords granny core, grandma core, that kind of thing, which is definitely a trend. And it's a silk blend, which does elevate the quality. Size medium. Also the brand, there, was, there were several marketable features to this top. First and foremost, the brand soft surroundings People search it out, they know it, they love it, they know it's high quality. The on-trend print in muted colors and the high quality fabric blend with silk involved. So I had this listed at 35. This is a size medium. If it had been a size extra large and up, I would have listed it probably close to, I would say 45, but because it was only a medium, I did list at 35. Someone liked it, and so my Posture VA sent them out a $31 offer with discount shipping. They did accept that, making my earnings $21.82. I paid $2.25 for that, making my profit right at $20. Okay, this was a fun sale. We we're going to grab our very last box number seven. Actually, you know what? I think I planned that for the last bundle I'm shipping. So I think I estimated that this would fit in a 1095 box, which I think it will. This is a Myra bag brand backpack with calf hair and genuine leather accents. Really pretty piece. It did have a couple very minor flaws, which of course were all disclosed. But this brand is really popular, Myra Bag. I've sold several of their bags now and they always sell really quickly. So because this did have a couple flaws, I listed at 50. And someone offered, I believe, same day or next day of being listed, 38, which I did counter at 45 because this did have quite a bit of traffic on the listing right out of the gate. So yeah, I countered at 45 and then they countered me back to 42, which I accepted. That made my earnings $33.60. And my profit, $30 on this backpack. I paid around $3 for it at the bins. Because maybe $2 to $3. It's not super heavy, honestly. And yeah, I'm going to just slip this into my box number 1095. Perfect fit. We love that. I do order all of my boxes and envelopes free from the USPS online. I have information on how I do that in the description of this video. If you're curious, they come straight to my door. It is incredible. All righty. 
let's check our time. We're good. We're finally out of the hundreds here in Houston, temperature wise. It is our, the high is 93 today. So we're getting somewhere. Now we have a vest. This is so cute. It's by Altered State, size small. It's a shag, shaggy, textured, open front vest. I recently relisted this because it did take quite a while to sell. I have had it for nine months to a year now. And I relisted it. I had it listed at 28. I relisted it at 28. And someone offered me 23 within a couple days of, be of it being relisted, which I was so excited about. My earnings were $18.40. And my profit was $16.40 on this vest. So I hope the buyer loves it. It is adorable. Again, this is great for transitional weather. It's open front, sleeveless, so it's pretty breezy. But is this gonna fit? But it does offer some warmth with all that shaggy texture to it. Let's see. Let me try this out before I put my label on. Yeah, it's fine. Let me see if I can. I like to put the label on before I put the piece in there so that it's flat. It sticks really well, but that's fine. I believe we have another three piece bundle. Yes. First is this kimono, open front kimono by Angie, my bread and butter kimono brand. This sold very quickly. All three pieces in this bundle sold quickly. And this was a full price bundle, which is my favorite thing in the world. When someone adds items to a bundle and then just checks out, my soul just does a little happy dance. It's great. I do have a automatic, I have an automatic 15% off three items or more bundle discount in my closet, which does encourage people to find three items. And then it does show them that they are getting an automatic discount. So I think that kind of incentivizes people to go ahead and just buy it because they see that discount there. So yeah, bundle discounts can be a very good thing if you do it correctly. And then our last two pieces are both belts. This one is Genuine Leather by the brand Buckle, size large. It has a woven design. And then this one is by Chico's. It has this really pretty oversized circular silver medallion with a burnished Genuine Leather braided body. And this belt by Chico's is actually flawed. The little closure to keep the belt closed broke. It was uh, soldered on. Is that the word? When you solder something. I need to go solder my belt. Solder? Solder. It's definitely solder. Yeah. Anyways, um, it came off and I super glued it back on, but then it came off again. And so I just took a picture of it laying next to the belt and said, this is broken, you'll have to reattach it. And I listed it at $13 just to get my money back on what I paid for it basically. And I did that and made a small profit because she did purchase full price. So I, I really think it would be an easy fix, but I'm just not the girl to do it apparently. So yeah, with the automatic 15% discount, the bundle sold for $59 full price. I guess maybe that's not actually full price with the discount. But anyways, she did not make an offer. She just added and purchased for $59, which made my earnings $46.92. I paid around $3. These were all Goodwill outlet finds and they all sold within a few days of being listed. And so my profit came out to $44 on this bundle, which I am extremely happy about. 
Let me add some thank you stickers to show my gratitude. And now we have a dress by Talbot. I picked this up first off because it looks brand new, unworn. It's also a size 16, which is a plus size, which is excellent. Size large and up, more specifically plus size, sells much better for me in more mature brands like Talbot's, J. Jill, Eileen Fisher, Soft Surroundings, that kind of thing. And also the shell of this dress is 100% linen, which is a higher quality material. It's natural, it's breathable, it's more expensive to produce. So, this probably retailed for around 150. I had it listed at 40, and within, I would say a week, maybe a week and a half, I was offered 30, which I accepted. My earnings were 24. I paid $2.25 for this, and so my profit was 22. I probably could have gotten a little bit more for this, but we are going out of summertime where linen is most popular. And the $30 offer is above my target sale price of 28. And so I did want to take that considering this is still considered bread and butter for me. I do consider Talbot's a bread and butter brand, but with all the sellable features that that dress had, it definitely was on the higher end of bread and butter, I would say. Okay, next up, we have another piece with lots of features that make it more sellable, more mar more marketable. It's D&Co Active, which is a brand that is sold on QVC, which in and of itself makes it sellable because a lot of people see items that they like on QVC or they find brands that they really like that work for them, work for their body, shape, style kind of thing. And they search for those brands on Poshmark, those specific brands. This was also a size 3X. It has a very boho, beachy, ombre print to it. It's a linen blend. It's longer length, which you know, a lot of people like that extra coverage. And it's just a nice closet staple. It's kind of an updated closet staple with the fun print, but still a very classic, just button down design. So I had this listed at 32. Someone liked the listing, and so my Posture VA sent them out a $28 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $19.42. I paid around $1.50 for this at the bins. This also had pockets, which is for sure something that elevates a piece. So yeah, my profit was $18 on this top. And this took, I would say, a month to two months to sell. We have another pair of shoes. These are by Tory Burch. I knew these would sell quickly and they did. They have the logo on the side, which was I'm sure a huge reason they sold fast. They're size nine. These did have some wear, mainly just like some scuffing to them that I couldn't quite leather condition away but I obviously took pictures of everything. I listed these at 50 and within, within a week of being listed, I was offered 25, which I did counter to 35 and that was accepted. So my earnings were 28. I did find these at my family thrift center outlet. So I paid $2.25 making my profit 26, which I'm happy with, especially with the flaws. Happy that these were a fast sale. I probably should have used a 1095 box, but I will just secure the sides with a little bit of tape here. Add our label on. 
see how we're doing on time. Okay, we have about 10 more minutes and then I gotta run to the post office. Next we have this button down top by the brand Heartloom. I'm still experimenting with this brand. I have listed it a couple times. Actually, maybe this was my first ever piece that I listed. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And But I do have two pieces in my death pile to get listed. So I'm not sure. This top did sit for six to nine months. I also actually got this on 50 Cent Day right when I got that moth vest. So these were probably both, yeah, this was relisted. These were both relisted and they both sold the second time around. But yeah, I, I'm not too sure how I feel about this brand. I don't think this top was a good indication of how it would sell just because it's not super substantial kind of thing. I'm curious to see, I have a jumpsuit and then I have a sweater in my death pile. So we will see how those sell, if they sell quickly. And then I will kind of make a better determination on my thoughts about the resale habits of that brand Heartloom. I had that listed at 28. Like I said, it was just relisted and someone offered me 20. I did accept that. I wanted to get it out the door. I wanted to take the offer that I had, you know, an active offer the second time around that I, that I got it listed. Um, my earnings were 16. Like I said, I only paid 50 cents for it. So my profit was $15 and 50 cents. Okay. Our last couple sales here. This is a Torrid. This line from Torrid sells so well for me. They're super soft line. Sometimes it's super soft combined with sleep and sometimes it's just super soft. This one is the sleep subdivision. It's a size 5X. It's a really soft, stretchy, comfy sleep dress with a feather print to it. It's in excellent condition. It has a really pretty feminine lace trim at the v-neck. I had this listed at 28 and someone liked it. So again, my Posture VA sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship that was accepted making my earnings 17. I paid $2 for this and so my profit came out to $15. So for a bread and butter sleep dress, I am happy with that. I think that's a good return and I hope the buyer loves it. I could see this being a really nice pajama dress to lounge around in. Okay, our very last sale for today is a four item bundle. Our first piece is by the brand Reb Dolls, which I had never heard of. I picked this up because it was a size 3X. It was new with tags and I liked the construction of it. It has a waist tie, very flattering. It has some ruching at the neckline, extra buttons still attached. I believe it's 100% cotton, so it's not like a cheap polyester or anything like that. And so yeah, this was a bins find. If that had not been new with tags, I probably would have left it just because I've never heard of that brand. I don't know, I might have still gotten it if it looked in really good condition because of the size, the color, the cut, the material, the length, it's midi, midi length. Second piece is this Eloquy size 3X lace lingerie bodysuit piece. Really pretty. I didn't get that. Oh. Third item is by Torrid size 4X mixed print sleeveless blouse tank top with a drawstring waist. And lastly, also Torrid size 5X really soft long line maroon open front cardigan with a subtle pointel knit to it. This is really pretty. Feels brand new. So yeah, again, I will just neatly fold all of these items in and add, oops, I've got a 
lint roller sheet there, add a piece of paper on top with my thank you sticker and then seal up the box. So when the four of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $113. I was offered 90, which I accepted. My earnings were 72. I paid around five for everything. And so my profit came out to $67 on this bundle. I have had everything in this bundle for, I would say two to three months. And so I was happy to accept that offer and move these out, get them out the door. So that is absolutely everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.